I've had a lot of people in the stake ask me about the GMRS program, programmable uh, repeater capable radios. They've needed some help programming them, so I thought I would make this video to help. Uh, to start the programming of the radio, first thing you need to do is turn the unit on with the volume switch. The next thing you need to do is choose which band you're on. The upper band up here is the A band. The lower band below it is the B band. You change the bands by pressing the far right upper channel. You'll see the arrow changes what band you're on. I like to be on band A, the upper band, uh, when I'm putting the primary channel in. That's a repeater. But you can choose whichever one. The next thing you need to do now is change the channel to the repeater channel. And to do that, you'll choose the upper or lower arrow. So in this case, you can choose the upper arrow and you're going to advance through all the channels from 1 to 22. These are simplex regular GMRS channels. One, seven. You can see that it simply easily two, advances to 22 two, and three. then after 22, the next channel up is repeater. So repeater channel one, go to repeater channel two. two four. Repeater channel three. Two, five. That is the stake repeater channel. Now to make it private, we need to include some privacy tones on the repeater channel uh, programmed in your radio. To do that, you go to the far left corner here on your radio. That is the menu button. Looks like a hamburger. Press that. Menu. And now you can scroll up or down on the different menu options. So scroll up, up, till you see CTCSS. Not RX, or not DCS, but CTCSS. So that's going to be option number 10. You can see that option number 10, um, RX CTCSS. And what you'll do is press enter there. CTCSS. And now you can go up or down these arrows until you select 103.5. Once you've, once you've got 103.5 selected, go back to the menu button on the far left, press it. Confirm. And she'll say it's confirmed. So now you need to go up to the next menu option of TX CTCSS. That's menu option 12. CTCSS again is a privacy tone and TX stands for transmission. We're going to put the privacy tone in both the transmission and the receiving menu uh, options. So transmission CTCSS 12 on your menu. Press enter. CTCSS. It'll highlight. You can go up or down until you select 103.5. Once you've done that, go back to the menu button. Confirm. And it's now confirmed. And now it'll automatically go back to your repeater channel 3, or you can tell it to go back pressing that button. Now we're on repeater channel 3, and we have a CT that stands for CTCSS, and our offset is a plus, so you're programmed incorrectly. I also like to make sure that you get a the long antenna for this. There's a short antenna and a long antenna. Make sure you put the longer of the two antennas on there. That'll really help your transmission ability uh, on the repeater. If by chance you want to program this without, with uh, manually, your uh, Balfang uh, radio here does it automatically, like I just showed you, but if you want to do it manually, this is the frequency. You'll hear the repeater on 462-6000. You'll transmit back on the repeater on 467-6000 plus 5 offset. Uh, if you want to do this manually and you have a ham radio that you want to make it modified to work on GMRS. And again, the, the transmit CTCSS is 103.5 and the receiving CTCSS is 103.5 as well. Once you do that to your radios, you are set to go to uh, use a radio. After you've done that, 
do a second radio and then test it by simply giving your call sign WRZ S796 repeater check. Hey, this is Jerry. Back inside. Uh, weak voice, but audible. Okay, so that was a check on the repeater. 3 CTCSS 103.5. Thank you very much. And, that, and that's how you program the GMRS uh, Baofeng 15 Pro radio to work on the stake repeater.